Why do you get injured, man? You're so strong. Tell me. Because I've got too it. strong. Yeah. I've got too strong, too it. much weights, too much weights, too many, all my muscles ended up becoming really tense and tight. Because, because I suppose growing up, um, I wanted to bowl as fast as I could on and you know, all the strength and conditioning trainers and that were telling me that the bigger and stronger that I got, the faster that I'd bowl. Faster you bowl. Which it's not, in the end, it probably increased my top speed a little bit, but I got way too big and strong and then my body just, because when, as you know, when you're doing weights all the time, your muscles get really tight and tense. And then when you need, you need them actually to stretch out like you do when you bowl, it's just, you know, it's not, it's not a good combination. So um, that was just, everyone's got their own battles. Yes. Um, and that might, you know, my big battles were, were injuries. But and it was always a good news when we know, okay, Shane Watson is not playing, he's injured. Thank you. <laughs> which happened a bit, which happened quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But that was... But wasn't a good news for Australia and for you, then, but it was always a good news for spinner like me, you know, okay, Shane Watson is not playing because he's the one who plays spin really, really well, hit people out of the park. At Sometimes. Him, at all time. No, most of the time. <laughs> You agreed to what has happened to Steve Smith and Warner, you know, they got banned for a year, which yeah. is, I feel it's way too much. Yeah, look, in the end, there's no question what they did was very stupid. It was ridiculous. To think that you'd take a foreign object onto the ground to be able to change the condition of the ball is ridiculous. Like that's, and, and also getting a young guy to do it is, yeah, obviously that was just under pressure, that was bad decision making. There's no question about that. But then what happened after that with the, you know, our Prime Minister of Australia um, you know, commenting about it and so many other people, like in the end it became, a, it became hysterical in Australia like, and then the general public were just going crazy over it. It's so sad because as soon as Steve Smith, and they, because they were very remorseful about what they did because I know they'd made, and everyone makes mistakes. Some are just bigger than others yeah. and some are a bit more public than others. Yeah. As soon as everyone could see how upset they were that they'd made a mistake. The Australian public changed straight away and said, actually, everyone does make mistakes. Yes, of course. So, and, and then if, if that was the sentiment that everyone had when Cree Australia were making the decision of how long the ban was, I've got no doubt that, that the actual ban would have been a lot less. Yeah. But because Cree Australia made it when everyone's in a feeding, feeding frenzy, they made it very emotionally, and 12 months is, Way too it's, much. is a long time. Now, I've learned most of my sledging from you guys. Thank you very much for... I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but you just I've heard about you Punjabis. I've heard about you Punjabis. <laughs> what? Pretty, you go pretty hard as well. No, we have something in common that we all are aggressive people. On the field? Yes. We're, we're competitive. I'd say competitive. Very competitive. Very competitive. And we use helping words, you know, in Punjabi. We use helping words. And so is Australian. Uh, helping words. That's a good way of saying yeah. it. Yeah. We don't always say like swear words, it's but, helping but words, I like it. Most of my English helping word comes from you guys. Because <laughs> yes, every time I faced Megra, yeah. you know, he hated me. I yeah. don't know for what. And I respected him so much as a bowler. But Megra did but, that. He, man. He didn't like any opposition. It and, didn't matter who he was. And he didn't know if yeah. he was saying anything I was not understanding <laughs> at all. And I was like, what? <laughs> Keep talking, man, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so Ricky Ponting said a lot of things and I hardly understood anything. And then a lot of uh, the young generation also said a lot of things. But the, by then, I got so used to of things, then I also learned the way you guys did it. And to Simon, to Matthew Hayden, to Gilchrist. I had, you know, great history with them, you know, mm. uh, while on the field, you know, we exchanged a lot of words and stuff. Mm. Andrew Simon was playing for Mumbai Indians <laughs> and I got to know him and he was such a lovely guy and we got along really well. But look, the one thing that of I absolutely love about the IPL and get to play with players and get to know them personally away from the cricket field because we're all for us to be to get to the you know to the stages of, of our career that we do we have to be competitive Definitely. you have to be you've got you've got an ego you and you're, you're pushing it all the time which means that sometimes especially when you're playing for your country it means not just that much to you but also yeah. to the whole public Definitely. you're pushing the limit it's actually IPL has brought things together, you know, for and no for, question for the, for the, for the better, talking. exactly for the for the better. And, that's and the normally we just see each other like this, and that's it. And that's all. You know, and you're judge and you're judging someone because of when they're on the field. But everyone's in, in survival mode when you're on the when you're on the field. So and that's a, that's a beauty being able to get to know people off the field because you realise actually how much you have in common. Free antivirus data is only enough. 
जबकि क्विक हिल टोटल सिक्योरिटी देता है एंटी वायरस इनहेंस फायरवॉल वेब सिक्योरिटी सेफ बैंकिंग एंटी फिशिंग प्राइवेसी प्रोटेक्शन और एंटी रैंसम वेब भी रखना है डेटा सेफ तो क्विक हिल टोटल सिक्योरिटी Since the IPL is there, when IPL wasn't there in 2001 series, a uh, great series. Yeah, good uh, for you as well. Very good. How many wickets did you get? Thirty-two. Thirty-two <laughs> <laughs> wickets in three tests. Yeah. Only thirty-two. I don't know how it happened, man. What that do you was mean? my. Because you're bowling like a genius. No one could hit you. Matty Hayden got a couple. Gilly got for a couple in the first test match. Yeah. Just kept sweeping, and then after that. No chance. You get a hat trick there as well. Yes, got my first hat trick. Yeah, but what a series! Yeah, unbelievable. That series actually made me the cricketer that I am. Yeah. And how old were you then? I was seventeen, eighteen. Cricket age or Cricket birth age. or birth age? <laughs> Let me just <laughs> passport age or maybe, maybe twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. <laughs> no, just Did joking. you spend a lot of time with Afridi lately? Yeah, he's been th- he's been like thirty six for like seven years. <laughs> It's a great effort. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you a story. Me and Yuvraj, we played together under 14, under 16, then under 19. I got over age, and Yuvraj was yeah, still I play, playing. Yeah, I played. I played. I played against Yuvraj in the under 19 World Cup. Really? Yep. And in the semi-final, he got 50 off about 20 balls and hit it. But like no one's ever hit him like that. And then the year later, he played in the Champions Trophy in Kenya. Yeah. And he, did he get 70 in one game? And yes, 60 or 70 you, against Australia. Yeah, yeah and you've run just like he went from being in a, like under under 18 or well, 18 and dominating to then just you know, playing against Australia and getting 70 odd. What a player he was. Oof. Still. So he was the same. No, he's he's also like a freebie. Okay, though, like 18 for about three years. Yeah. Good if you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> so what have we have spoken a lot of cricket? Did you actually get? Time to see India. What is India all about, in your view? Yeah, look, I've had a, a bit of a chance to be able to have a, have a look around India. Look, I've I've always absolutely loved coming to India. One, most importantly, be able to share the the true love and passion for the game that I have with just about every person. Did in you India. get to see the other places as well, like Agra to a lot of? You were in Rajasthan. Yeah, I, did, have I haven't had a chance to go to, to Agra yet. Um, I'm also saving that for when my wife and I can go together. But I was fortunate enough um, a couple of years ago to be able to spend some time in Adipore at um, yeah the city palace and have a look around. And it's oh, one of the most stunning places. Yeah, the Lake Palace and just how beautiful, beautiful place it is. Um, seeing a few parts around um, Jaipur when I was playing in Rajasthan. Um, but but to be able to share, to be able to share the passion for the game that I you know that's that's changed my life. Um, with so many people in India is just so special. Um, knowing that it is compared to back home in Australia, um, obviously we don't have as many people. But um, where do you think you're more famous? In I'm more recognised here in India. Yeah. 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 Can you move Definitely. around here? Um, yeah, I can. But do you get hassles? Oh, I wouldn't say hassles. There's a few people <laughs> who want a few few selfies. And you like um, it? Yeah. Well, look. In the end, I suppose how I've always been is. Um, I never want to disappoint anyone um, because knowing when I was when I was a kid, if you know if I was had a, a chance to be able to get a, an autograph from you know from one of my heroes, if they knocked me back, then like I would have been shattered. How would you compare Indian fans to your Australian fans? You know, you must have seen uh, that was actually an eye opener for me as well when we went from a hotel to Chidambaram Stadium in Chennai. Is that Happen in Australia as well. Uh, it certainly does not happen in Australia. Um, yeah, the Australian Australian public are a lot more a lot more reserved. You know, a, there's a lot of people who love cricket in Australia, but they certainly aren't as um, as passionate about about the game. So it's um it's a lot more relaxed back at um, back at home. Whereas here, you know, to be able to see how many people love cricket and how much they you know idolise their their cricket idols is um it's incredible to be able to see. Like what we saw it in Chennai, oh, driving through the streets. All those bikes lined up. Um, oh gosh! And then even at training, like I've never, I've never, I've never trained, and there's like nearly ten thousand people. Ten thousand people, yeah. In the actual stadium, watching just training. That's never, that's never happened. You see in other sports, you know, whether it's um, you know football or soccer, with some of the big, you know, big soccer players who are playing. But never, not never, never have I experienced that. That was, ma- that was an amazing experience. Which is why, for me, it's incredibly sad that um, we had to move out of Chennai. Yeah. Do you like Indian food? Yes, love Indian food. Well, what's your favorite dish? <sighs> Look, 
To be honest, all vegetarian food. And I'm not vegetarian. Um, I do love my meat. Do you watch Indian movies, Waddle? Look, I haven't, no, I haven't watched too many um, well, you know Indian few. movies, but I know a few of the yeah, actors and act actresses. Personally? Uh, no, no, not personally. No, more so just seeing them on the, on the TV all the time. Um, obviously got to do a little bit with um, SRK. Yeah. Shuri Khan um, at one of the, got to know him a little bit for one of the opening ceremonies at the, at the IPL in Abu Dhabi. So that was very cool. Pretty Zinta has always been incredibly, incredibly nice to me, so I've always enjoyed spending some time with her. Yeah, Virat's, Virat's wife's a, she's Anushka. a... Anushka. she's a lovely lady as well. Very impressive, yeah, very impressive, more switched names. on. Any other name you know? Amitabh Bachchan. I'd, like yes. I'd love to meet him. Big B. I saw an interview recently um, on one of the flights that I was on, and he seems like a very, very genuinely good man. Yeah, very he down loves sports. Still, does he? Every yeah. time India win, he... He's there he? to show his support and stuff. Yeah. But I'm sure he'll be very happy to meet you. Okay. Bravo met him. Did he? And a lot of the other cricketers have okay. actually met him. So we'll try and organize your meeting as well awesome. with Big B. <laughs> Free wala antivirus data is still fitna. Quick heal total security data hai, antivirus, enhanced firewall, web security, anti phishing, privacy protection, anti ransomware, or safe banking. Bhi. Rakhna in a bank account safe to quick heal total security. You know Shane Watson, he's a brilliant cricketer who bowls really fast, sometimes hits me on my helmets and stuff, say a lot of things to me. Nah, that wasn't a batter. Me. That must have been someone else. <laughs> yeah, right. A batter who actually hit big sixes, but you don't know how well he sings, how well he plays the guitar. So I'm going to reveal that secret today on this show. <laughs> Would you be able to play some guitar no, for us? Yeah, I'll try. I'll Lovely. try my best. Thank you, mate. So lately, been wondering, will you be there to take my place? And I'm gone, you need a love to light the shadows on your face. If a gray wave shall fall, and I fall upon the sun, and I hope there's someone out there who can bring me back to you If I could and I would I'll go wherever you will go Where you're by down low I'll go wherever you will go Too good, man. What do you got now? <laughs> Too good. Too good. Wow. Aina kuch khabar mere yaar ki Ye hame hai yakeen Be wafa wo nahi Fir waja kya hui Intazar ki that's impressive, Budgie. New skills for you as well. How come we haven't seen those before? No, I, I do sing. I, I like to sing, but I wish I could play. Well, that's you got me here for, and then you can sing. Okay, we we'll <laughs> set a band. As Let's well. Set up a band. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Brilliant. Too good. Go on, you, mate. New skills. तू की जाने प्यार मेरा मैं करा इंतजार तेरा तू दिल तू यो जान मेरी मैं तेनु समझावा की That's what you need to practice. I oh, know, I need to be able to sing that. It's very good. <laughs> if you'll sing that, yeah. you'll be like, wow. Purple rain, purple rain Purple rain, purple rain I only want to see you bathing in that purple rain That's all I got. Top stuff, mate.